Hi, this is Ron the Dream Roper. Today I'd like to talk to you about leaving your baggage at the door. Here's a couple of key steps and we've all been there and hopefully we're not all there now. But stay tuned, maybe get some uh, hints from this. Okay, Ron back to you. Leaving your baggage at the door, what does that mean? Okay, we all have baggage, right? We have baggage, or I mean baggage, the stupid things you've done in the past, we've all done in the past, words that you've said that you shouldn't have, things that you've done that you shouldn't have, people you've hurt, loved ones, and it's all, we can, it's very easy to carry that and just dwell on it, right? So, that's the bad news, right? The good news is, that was yesterday. You don't have to live there. So, how do you move out? How do you not live there? There's two key things that you need to remember to move forward. Forgive others. Why forgive others? Well, it's unforgiveness to start with is a heavy burden. And I think we've all heard unforgiveness called like a poison that you drink hoping that someone else will die. So that's not value added, right? And uh, in, in the Lord's Prayer, I mean, you might not believe as I do, but in the Lord's Prayer it says, forgive me my trespasses and I forgive those who trespass against me. That means we're supposed to forgive others if we want to be forgiven. So what do we want to do? Forgive others. Just let it go. Give it to God. Just, you know, you re, you're, we're told to repent and turn to God and give, put our burdens on Jesus. He'll carry them. That's a good thing. Uh, and that holds true for us. So the second part is to forgive ourselves. Now, all this stuff we've talked about that we've done that we aren't happy about doing... It dwell, if we dwell on that, it's going to inhibit us moving forward. So, most important thing is forgive yourself. Again, put it, put it at the cross. Hand it to Jesus. He'll carry it. The burdens are gone. Things lighten up, right? And uh, that's, that's important is forgiveness. So, and one thing again. If you gave your burdens to Jesus, why are you still carrying them? Let them go. So, what does that do? It frees us to move confidently into the future. So, as I said, leave your baggage at the door. Today is the door to your future. And the key to your future of moving forward confidently is not carrying all that stuff that's been holding you back. So, I encourage you today, relieve yourself of these burdens so that you may move forward towards your future. Envision your future. You know, go after your dreams. Lasso your dreams. I'm the dream roper. I can help you. Fill in, fill in your info below in that little form and I'll, you know, we'll talk, right? And if you've found value here today, if you know of people, that are carrying their past and it's holding them back from moving into their future, share it with them. Maybe, maybe it'll be helpful. So Ron the Dream Roper, helping you lasso your dreams. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.